Okay, we've had one example of population growth, now for an example of exponential decay. Uh, uh, let's see, there is a lot of carbon in our, uh, you know, floating around our planet, and uh, a small fraction of it is a weird ex um, uh, radioactive form of carbon called carbon-14. And so long as you are living and breathing and eating, breathing in, car you know, car you know uh, what is it, eating plants and leaves and animals and other things with carbon in it, you pretty much have the same amount of carbon-14 as everything else around you. But when you die and you stop taking it in, what little carbon-14 you have in you slowly decays. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years, approximately, which means that every 5,730 years, you have half as much carbon as you had before. So, uh, let's say we find a bone, and it's only got 20% of the usual amount of carbon-14. In other words, it's an old bone. It's lost quite a bit. Exactly how old is it? Well, we can figure that out. Uh, well, why don't I... You can use... You can use the P of T is A E to the K T formula, but I like my formula so much. I'm going to say we start with um, P of 0 equals 100 units of carbon-14. I don't actually know how much carbon-14 a creature, what percentage of carbon-14 a creature usually has. Let's just say you start with 100 units, and then at some time P of T we have, we have, duh, 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 we have only 20 units. Sometime, and we want to find T. We want to find at what time does it go from 100 units to 20 units. So, the cool formula is, is to say P of T is, let's see, you start off with 100, 100, and instead of using the E to the KT, you say, you multiply it by 1 half, every 5,730 years. 100 times 1 half to the t over 5,730. It's a lovely formula. When t is 0, we have 100, because anything to the 0 power is 1. When t is 5,730, we multiply it by half, which means that in 5,730 years, we'll have exactly 50 units. We want to know at what point is this going to be 20. All we need to do is solve it for 1 half. Divide both sides by 100, and we get 1 half to the t over 5,030 is, let's say, 0.2. And then we take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of that is the natural log of that. Why do we use the natural log? Because you can pull your exponent out front and say t over 5,730 times the natural log of 1 half is the natural log, oh, I'm going to call 0.2 1 fifth, just because I know that, and just multiply everything over. T is the natural log of 1 fifth divided by the natural log of 1 half times 5,730, which if I bust out my calculator and I crunch this, I say what? 0.2 natural log divided by 0.5, natural log is some number. We multiply that by 5,730, and I get 13,304 years. 13,304 years. That's approximately how old this bone is. Now, it's not, it depends on how accurately you can measure the carbon-14, for, uh, so it might be you might only be accurate, give or take, 500 years. But certainly this is somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000 years old.